it's where I want to build a home, where I want to build a home. Do you see that, friends? That sunshine shining in my face. It's a beautiful Wednesday afternoon, and I'm going to be out working in the garden. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick smoothie to fuel up for all the work that I'll be doing. I'm going to make one of my favorite smoothies. It's peanut butter, chocolate, dates, banana, almond milk. So good. Um, really delicious. Tastes almost like a milkshake, but it's packed with the good stuff. And it definitely fuels me for a day spent out in the garden. So look at those little chickens. Look at her kitchen. Looks so clean, doesn't it? Not when you get over here. So tempting when I record videos to just show you the cleaned up pretty side, but I want to make sure you guys know that we're busy and that means we don't always have time to clean up. Life is not always perfect and that means dishes to do and messes to clean and I absolutely hate doing dishes, so I'm not going to do that right now. Instead, I'm going to make a protein smoothie, peanut butter, chocolate, as I mentioned, and I'm going to get outside because I'm going to enjoy this beautiful day and the dishes can wait. I think it's pretty much a requirement whenever you use peanut butter that you like have to lick whatever you use to serve it. It's just too good. <laughs> It's also a requirement if you make a delicious smoothie to drink the um, tiny bit at the bottom outside from the blender itself. Now it's time to go out in the garden. So time to put my hair up because being out in the garden with long hair is really challenging because you're going to try to get seeds out of your pocket and then you have hair in your face and you're like have muddy hands. You're trying to get your hair out of your face with muddy hands. Nope, not happening. Let's go out in the garden. I need to go grab some seeds to put in my pocket so that I actually remember to direct seed the things I wanted to, but I accidentally left them in my jacket pocket from last night and brought them to work with me. So guys, the chickens are in my garden bed. I need to go kick them out. Nothing in there yet. There they are, culprits. Don't worry, we are putting up a garden fence and we will not be free ranging them in the garden. I'm ready to go outside and sow some seeds, but I literally have seeds in three out of four of my pockets, and then the fourth pocket has markers that I already wrote out of what I planted. Seeds, markers, seeds, and more seeds. Probably the only time I will be showing you guys my behind is to show you pockets full of seeds. TJ versus the rooster. Made it out alive. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant some greens just to figure out which greens I wanna plant. I have Asian spinach, regular spinach. It's hard to do with one hand, guys. Uh, Paris Island lettuce, pak choy, a mesclun mix, kale, mustard, and arugula. I've never successfully grown arugula. I tried growing it last year in my raised beds and it wouldn't germinate. I'm actually being very, very, very intentional about moving aside all of the wood chips before seeding anything. Really, really carefully moving them aside. And so you see here has been very intentionally cleared of any wood chips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I get all those dandelion roots out because those are pretty much the only weeds left. And then I'm going to seed, make sure that there's good soil to seed contact. And then I'm not going to add wood chips back on until the plants are established. And that's when I will brush the mulch 
the wood chips back over the plants to retain moisture. Do not plant in wood chips. Do not do it. They will try to grow, but their roots will just hit wood and then they will be like, nope, not gonna happen. They won't grow for you and you will be very sad like I was when all of my cabbage died. So plant, plant, plant below any mulch, really in the soil. If you don't have good soil, make sure you're adding good compost in with your soil. As you can see, we actually have really nice soil here. Uh, it's a bit rocky, um, so you gotta remove the bigger rocks. But if anything, it's a little uh, heavy sometimes, a little on the clay end of things. So it is good to add in the compost. And over time, these wood chips will uh, decompose as well and they'll add really nice lightness to the soil but um it's it's amazing and i feel really really lucky and fortunate to have good soil because as many of you know when we moved here we had no interest in gardening we really just moved here for uh the horses as you can see we do have two of those yeah fell in love with gardening and it's just such a blessing that we ended up in a place with good soil because raised beds are really expensive and um i just love that we I don't know that this property was almost waiting for us to fall in love with gardening. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these some of these greens planted. Let's leave town today. Make a life somewhere far away. Where the fields are green and gold. That's where I wanna build a home. Where I wanna build a home. Let's live a Life is way too short to just stay dreaming.